So welcome to this week's video. Today we've come out to Trifor to photograph these amazing sea stacks that are just behind me. We've come down for sunset and sunset is at half past eight. High tide is at 9.30 so we've got an hour um, after sunset that the tide will be at its highest point. But what we're hoping is that the tide will come in a little bit more and, and surround the sea stacks and we can get some nice sort of slow uh, long exposures and maybe some fast ones as well maybe we might get a little bit of uh, waves crashing up against the sea stacks but it is so so windy um, I hope you can hear me all right <laughs> but it is ridiculously windy we did check the weather before we came out um, and it said eight eight mile an hour winds which I think it's probably a little bit more windy than that um, but we've made our way down and just had a look at some compositions along the edge without getting too close um, But some of the rocks are quite um, Jagged with this lovely sort of orangey yellow algae. I think it is But there's three sea stacks just behind me One's almost like triangular shape and one's more sort of rectangular with the little baby one in, in the middle of them We've tried a couple of compositions already just so that when the sun sets that we've maybe picked out what we think is the best composition. Um, there's probably, to be fair, not that many different compositions you can get from here. Um, you could probably walk along the top of the cliff and maybe shoot from the other side. Um, but we're happy here and the tide's coming in. So hopefully we'll get some lovely sort of wave movement wave texture um, as that sun sets so what i'm trying to do on this shot is just focus on these jagged rocks in the foreground um, and try and get this sort of movement of that water as it comes in with that whiteness against that gray beach as a little bit of a leading line going up to those sea stacks it's all about that timing and trying to get that sort of movement as it comes in um, it's very difficult sort of conditions with this wind and being so close to the edge it is unnerving me slightly um, but like I say it's trying to use this time now before the sun sets to figure out which composition is going to work best um, I tried a vertical shot just earlier sort of in a very similar position just a bit further up which I did really like and so far that's the composition that I like the best but it's a vertical shot again and I try uh, to come away from those as much as I can and, and do some landscape shots as well the cloud has cleared sort of as we came down it was it was raining <laughs> um, and we just sat and sort of covered the camera bags for a little bit again there wasn't any rain forecast and we just thought let's head out we've not been out again for a good few weeks we've been busy um sorting out a, an office at home and doing a bit of diy and a little bit of decorating um, so it's just nice to come out today and blow the cobwebs off literally for this shot i'm on f14 one third of a second on the shutter at iso 64 I've got a 0.9 medium grad just to bring that sky down that uh, is quite bright still and a polarizer but that sky is opening up there doesn't look to be a gap on the horizon where the sun's going to set but if that cloud just shifts a little bit we might be on for something really special I always say that and I always jinx our, us so I think we'll sit, we'll maybe hold out, we've got uh, about another hour yet till sunset, if not a little bit longer. So I think probably what we'll do is, I might show you a couple of compositions that we're looking at, and like I say, sit and wait for sunset, and take it in, enjoy it, and hope we don't get swept out to sea. <laughs> Turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go. So 
because I found a shop that I quite like and it's using again this foreground it's just so lovely it's so nice to to work with and to try and make an image from uh, because of the the patterns and the details in those rocks um, and the way that light's just coming down lighting it up is just lovely and what's really great is that my shadow is behind me um, rather than sort of casting onto the rocks which is sometimes a bit of an issue it's coming and going as it passes through the clouds but what I really really like is at the moment you've got this sort of yellowy stuff I think it's algae all over the rocks and the, where the sun is coming down and it's lighting up the water it's it's so green it's just lovely I'm so glad we came out we, we wasn't gonna because or we wasn't gonna come to this spot anyway because we thought it'd be really busy our school holidays um, high tide sort of not too far away from sunset and thought there'd be loads of people here and there's just literally me and Max um, I don't know whether anybody will sort of turn up a little bit later just ready for sunset um, but again on this image what I've done is I've dropped a six stop ND filter in I've still got the medium grad in because it is still quite bright and I'm on F14 just focusing on the C stacks and incorporating some of this foreground and just running that long exposure to smooth that water out we're just getting a little bit of blowout in this top right hand corner where that sun's coming in but that is quite a nice shot I do like that the, the only thing that is bothering me about it is the further you come down to this edge this triangular sea stack starts cutting into the rock um, the cliff face from further up you get some separation between all three sea stacks which I prefer but I prefer this composition so I may have to sort of do a bit of a trade-off um, for the composition but yeah I am happy with that you can, all, you can also just see the peak of this mountain uh, which I'm not sure what it's called and the, and the sort of cliff that, that sort of goes out to sea across there is just lit beautifully as well um, but yeah I'm really really hoping that the microphone is working and sort of trying to cut some of that wind noise out but I'm just loving it absolutely loving it I'm running out of time every day goes by so fast and every moment counts baby I don't want to miss a thing so I'm just running a two minute exposure and I'm just keeping hold of the shutter release because the wind is sort of causing a little bit of vibration on the tripod. The sun is just going to drop down a, um, just below a big cloud and there's probably just a thin strip where that sun can break through before it then dips down into another cloud I just can't tell whether there's a gap on the horizon um, it's quite bright looking out across there and there is quite a lot of cloud um, but I do think that we are going to get some nice light on these rocks uh, on the stacks rather um, there's quite a lot of green algae on the right hand side of this rectangular stack and as the light catches that it's glowing and the colour honestly I know I've already said it but the colour of the water is just beautiful it's, it's, it's just everything that we wished it would be for this shot um, what I've done is I've put my f-stop down to f8 and I've raised my ISO up to 100 so that that gives me one eighth of a second to get my two minute exposure um, it's too windy I think to attempt anything longer if that um, wind does dip then I'm going to attempt another one because or a longer one because there is quite a bit of movement in that sky I'm just going to let this run just a little bit longer um, but I do think 
this could be the shot that we wait now for until sunset so we don't move the tripod um, and just sit it out we've got an hour now until that sun sets but let's just have a little look yeah that is quite nice do like that it's just as that sun is sort of dipping in and out of the cloud you're losing the light a little bit um, but we're not rushing we've got plenty of time we'll just sit it out and wait so it's a little bit challenging still with this wind um, I am happy with that composition that I've got there we've got an hour yet till sunset and as I mentioned that cloud has, has sort of rolled in a little bit there's no light now whatsoever um, and I'm sort of what is it going to do is it going to light is it not is it worth staying is it not um, but I suppose one thing that you do learn with photography is that conditions can change and it is probably the best thing to do to stick it out um, you know we, we've sort of maybe had a bit of a, a two or three hour drive across and it'd be a shame to sort of leave now um, and not stick it out but it's just I don't know I suppose you sort of you come out and you and you hope and you wish for those conditions and I think one of the things that I've realized recently is that I quite like the drama you know I quite like the mood um, you know I've always been one for sunrise and sunset and I still am um, but those images that you get when it's when it's raining and you've got those sort of not storm clouds but sort of dark clouds in and amongst that that bright sky and it sort of feels that that's what we've got tonight um, I've been through all of those images um, just looking at the compositions just to check which one that I prefer and it is like I say the one that we've got now where we've got just this little bit of foreground um, I don't think the tide comes in much more than what it is um, high tide is at half past nine but I don't think that it comes all the way around that sea stack um, I'm not sure but I think if we if we do get any any more light and if that sun does break through on that horizon these clouds could light and um, there is just a little bit of color behind us or in front of us rather um, but I don't know you just never never can tell sometimes you come out and you think you're going to be on for the best sunset ever and it doesn't happen and sometimes you think it's not going to do anything and it does um, keeps you on your toes I suppose but what an absolutely absolutely stunning stunning location So we've got about 10 minutes to go until sunset and unfortunately that bank of cloud that I mentioned earlier has just rolled right in and it's snuffing out all the light from the sun. There is some nice colour in the clouds but again behind us where we're shooting the cloud has sort of moved out and sort of 
it's all above us and, and sort of out to sea but not where we want it to be. Um, there's, the colour behind us is, is it's grey pretty much, although across on the horizon there, just sort of in front of us, there's a little bit of a peachy orangey yeah, hue, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Um, but again, you know, we've enjoyed it. It's somewhere we've been wanting to come for probably about 12 months now. And just sort of took the opportunity tonight just to have a drive out. The walk up isn't too bad, to be fair, is it? No, it's it's no. just that first bit, yeah, isn't it? A bit steep at the beginning. And then it's yeah, a bit steep at the beginning. But once you sort of get over that, um, it's pretty much level and then downhill. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that video and the images. Um, I don't think it's going to do any more. If it does, we'll put the last one up. Um, but yeah, I think it's been just a lovely evening, yeah, hasn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely worth the drive out. So we'll see you next time. We we are going across to Sky. We've got a, a week on the Isle of Sky uh, next week. Um, so hopefully we'll see you from there. Take care. Adios. Adios.